All right, guys. So Neo just did a live stream showcasing the inside of their factory. So this is a very good exclusive look at the inside of the factory, what it looks like. And then you also had the head of the factory do this live stream with this uh, live stream lady and also talk about the factory in general and give a good walk around. And there's some pretty amazing facts that we learned and the smart use of AI in the factory, which is just mind blowing. Okay, this is mind blowing stuff. So the AI in the factory that they use is called Tiangong, Tiangong Management AI. And its sole purpose is to enable workers to perform better, eliminate human error, and everything is connected, everything, all right? So down to uh, how much torque the bolts uh, are screwed onto the car. So even if they're screwed on mechanically using a machine that a human operates, the amount of torque applied is measured and controlled. So they eventually aim to let humans do more creative work. And this is not just a command center, but eventually, 85% of the decision making should be done by AI by 2025. That's their aim. And right now, it's more like the AI tells the human how to build this car uh, for each individual car because each individual car, car might be slightly different. All right. So, so they tell you what needs to be done, what to do, how to do it and how much to do it. And that's the key important part, how much, how much torque to apply. This screw might need to be applied a little bit more than the other one, et cetera, et cetera, which is pretty, pretty darn amazing. So this whole entire use of AI will leave the humans to choose how to design and make the car, uh, what material to use, and leave the making of the car to the AI. So. The AI is responsible for each car making the car because it's impossible for human to follow every car and, and know what car needs to do what and and to what extent. And they also have extremely high quality control standards. And obviously, with uh, all the data that's incorporated into the AI, uh, they're able to know what kind of pro potential problems they might see. For example, if there's too much sealant or uh, there's not enough sealant or something like that on this side there might potentially be problems like that uh, everything is strictly controlled to meet that high quality but then also uh, they use ai to standardize chassis tuning wheel and torque balancing uh, lidar camera focus tuning etc so it's all done using ai and what's really fun is you can hear you can also see the ranking for each employee so they have rankings for employees which is sort of like um league of legends uh, which is very interesting and it's basically the ai ranks the workers based on how well to what extent they're able to execute the task at hand like how precise and this is what it looks like i mean like this is absolutely amazing and uh, so they have rankings from like bronze all the way up to like gold and they leave the finer to uh, finer tasks to some of the more experienced uh, higher level employees that are able to get the job done correctly accurately which is very very important especially when you have a very expensive car like neo but at the end of everything there's also humans, employees, and even new owners to check the car and to examine the quality of the car and have it pass quality inspection through the eyes of humans. So that's also very, very important. Now, obviously, the aim of this was to show off how advanced and how good Neo's factory is. Everything is functioning perfectly. In light of the recent JAC news that JAC was looking to sell these factories and a lot of customers were worried that potentially uh, this is bad news for Neo and that Neo was going under or something. So this 
obviously kills all those worries. All right, should not be worried at all. But we can tell from JC, uh, JC stock ever since that announcement, new JC stock has just flown high and high. I have it dotted over here. You can take a look. So obviously, Neo's factories are some of the most advanced factories, and Neo, Neo CEO William Lee was not joking when they said that their factory is more advanced than Porsche's factory. Obviously, I mean, like uh, the use of AI here is incredibly high, and in the future, they want AI to control robots and more AI. So that's pretty interesting. And a big breaking news today, just today, is that the sub-brand uh, codenamed Alps has been revealed to be also laying off employees and will no longer be an independent project. And we knew that uh, the car was going to be within Neo's ecosystem, just a Neo car, basically a cheaper one with ED. And uh, so the, the, the sub-brand will no longer exist. And no longer be an individual independent project. Personnel has been laid off and folded into Neil's various departments. So some people have lost their jobs. Some people will be folded into Neil's other departments. These are all extremely, extremely good news because what my biggest like uh, problem with the sub brand was how much is it going to cost you to start a new car company? Now multiply that by two because Neo is also doing Firefly sub brand. So think about the amount of money they got to spend to do all the, the, the new stores, etc. All that stuff. So that was a big problem that I had. And a lot of people also argued that Neo would see more success if it was just under the main brand and just be a cheaper car under the main brand. And Neo's brand recognition is already quite high. And doing that, by having that cheaper vehicle, you're going to make it much more accessible to other people that want a Neo, all right, but a cheap Neo. Whereas if you have a new sub brand, it'll just be another brand competing with other guys. So this is definitely the right move. I'm very happy to see it. And that also means that the sub-brand car, the ED car, new ED car is going to sell extremely, extremely well. And uh, yeah, this is this is going to be very extremely bullish, guys. You know, the factory is all good. Uh, there's nothing bad going on with the factory. And then also the sub-brand, there's massive cost cuts with uh, jobs being cut and also the sub brand is guaranteed to be successful having it under the main brand so there's nothing to worry about in my opinion uh, yes Neo still incurring heavy heavy losses through lots of R&D spending but it looks like the light is near the end of the tunnel and we're almost near the end of the tunnel I mean I'm very happy with what I'm seeing I was not happy with what I was seeing back about a year ago but now i am happy all right as always stay safe stay healthy peace out